to your reading and your miracle messages. I just feel today like there's some information that wants to come through. It does feel like a lot of healing is happening. So we're just gonna see what messages come. Let's see what Spirit wants to reveal. Grace is a beautiful card to get. You have the ability to connect to grace, to be in grace, to allow grace to overcome you and your mind in whatever is happening. Trust yourself. Um, yeah, the Holy Spirit is with you. And the other card that came out was playfulness. So, if things get too serious, just remember we forgot to laugh, <laughs> and, and none of this is, um, is, it's all but a dream, it's not real, and um, yeah, Spirit wants you to know that you are covered in grace, so take things lightly. I like these messages, because I do feel a bit of intensity in the mind. This morning. Let's see, this one wants to come out. Truth. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the truth is that grace has you. <laughs> and wow, let's just see what other messages come out. Right now we have grace, playfulness, and truth. Beautiful messages. Much needed messages. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the energy is intense and there is a, um, a tendency to think something's wrong. Relax, nothing's wrong. Healing is happening. You don't need to um, defend a position. Relax into the intensity. Um, ask for grace and it will dawn upon the mind, the truth. Light, lightness, joyfulness, playfulness. I mean, we gotta take these things, you know, we're children of God, and to enter into the kingdom of heaven, we, um, Jesus says we are to be like little children, and so remember your innocence, remember nothing is really going on, it's just the mind that thinks something is wrong when it's healing. But you have the energy of grace with you, and I can't think of another anything more beautiful grace and truth spontaneous awakening activation integration time okay there has been so much healing that there needs to be a period of integration just allowing the mind to you know just settle into all it's seen as of late there has been so much revealed to the mind and the blue flame, I really like that. Blue has been my favorite color for a while now. It just feels so calming and warm and safe in that color. But it looks like you are going to have some kind of spontaneous awakening or you're going through one now. So you're gonna need some integration time. That's why the spirit is saying, be playful in the mind. Um, relax the mind and trust that the truth is coming to you in grace. You also have I Remember, Soul Plan, The Fated Life is the Destiny Life. I Remember. You are beginning to remember who you truly are in spirit. Um, it was always your destiny. Um, it's being revealed to you by the grace of God. The truth is um, you'll need some time for integration because you're going through a spontaneous awakening remembering who you are in truth. Let's get one more. 
a bunch came out. Lifting the veil. We're just going to take one more. Lifting the veil. What a beautiful card. Questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. There you have it. Questioning everything. Anything that's not in alignment with who you are must go. You're lifting the veil. This is a huge, this is a deep, 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 deep reading. You are remembering who you are. The veil is being lifted. You know, give yourself time to allow this spontaneous awakening to take place. That's what the cards reveal. And if it doesn't resonate for you, that's fine. But these messages are very deep on a very um, deep level. You are being reminded that everything's okay. Um, the truth comes to us bit by bit as we are ready for it. You're not going to be hurled into heaven. Um, just remember that it it can be gentle. You can ask for it to be gentle. Um, it doesn't have to be harsh. That's why playfulness is on this table. You have grace, truth, lifting the veil, remembering who you are in spirit, a spontaneous awakening. This is really happening, y'all. Grace is with you. The truth is being revealed to you. And you're being asked to take it all lightly. Spirit's got it. Spirit's got you. This awakening is not of your doing. Um, it is your desire. And you are protected and surrounded by angels, love, walking you through this. We watched the Celestine prophecy um, yesterday, and all I can see was, yeah, when they're in the circle, well, you have to watch the movie if you haven't. We're surrounded by love and help. Um, we're not in any danger. We're just coming to the truth of who we are. And for some reason, we're scared shitless um, of love. But it's happening. Let's see what the tarot deck wants to reveal. The oracle cards have been amazing. Just amazing. What other messages, Spirit, are there for us today? All right. <clears throat> yes, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, that jumped out of the deck. Ten of Cups, Death and Rebirth, the Tower, mm-hmm. And underneath the deck, the sun. Okay, it's happening. Yes, an awakening is definitely happening. Um, the Ace of Cups, a new heart. A new heart opening. Your heart is opening to agape love. The spirit is here to assist you. Grace is coming upon you because your heart is opening to true love. It is feeling confusing and complicated to you as you go through this awakening. But the truth is you're right here in truth not conflicted at all you're aligned with spirit coming into a a brand new state of mind and it seems to be very conflicting for the mind but in truth you're safe in the heart of God an awakening can seem disturbing at times um, but you've made up your mind that you want to be happy, the Ten of Cups. Um, there's every part of your life now is in alignment with seeking the truth. Um, it's time to let go of the seeker now and fall into the arms of God. You are aligned. You're doing everything that you can. This conflict is not real. It just seems to be intense because you are going through a death and rebirth. This is your awakening. It's because of who you are now, you no longer want what you used to. You're in alignment with the spirit. It feels like 
a tower moment. And, and that is not uncommon. You are going from this death to being born again, born anew, a new mind. And it feels like you don't know anything. Everything you know has shattered. Um, it wasn't built on solid foundation. It was built on the personality self, and that self is coming down. And it ends with the happiest card in the deck, the sun. You know, it's like this is a perfectly understandable reading, death and rebirth. It feels like the whole world you once knew is crumbling, and it is, because this is what you're coming into. The sun, a new cycle, a new self, a new mind, a new life of, as you can see in this card, joy. Joy is yours. Joy, 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 joy after, well, the death of a self that was not real. Well, that makes sense why the energies felt so intense this morning for me. Hmm. All I can say is remember this. This is you. This is what you're coming into right now. Very shortly. Okay, I'll see you next time.